the Acme Nightingale call. If there's one thing Simon Topman knows, it's how to whistle up success in manufacturing. The company he heads made the first Metropolitan Police Whistle in 1883. Exporting to 119 countries, the world's biggest whistle maker became known for its high-quality handmade products. But the UK's vote to leave the European Union may now force it to change. We're definitely going to have to look at automation as a way to greater efficiency, but at the same time we need to retain the craft hand skills that make the product rather special and individual. Now Acme still retains skilled workers producing, cleaning, plating and even polishing by hand. But some automation like this plastic injection molding device has crept in over the years. And Topman says the usage of robots may grow as manufacturers face Brexit related headwinds. This trend is not unique to the UK. Global industrial robot sales rose by a record breaking 8% last year, says the International Federation of Robotics. Brexit is a wake up call, certainly for the UK. If you look at Germany, Germany's led the way with Industry 4.0 in terms of automating and improving its manufacturing with the use of data and analytics. Now the UK has no choice, in my view, and anyone also affected by the potential recession. As for Acme, the key will be getting robots to help its craftspeople produce these special, unique whistles without losing their handmade charm.